I'm looking for new ways to explore the use of water. I don't like these orchestrated fountains, you know, these dancing fountains. I don't like, I, don't, I think there, there's something artificial about it. Uh, however, I'm just proposing uh, when I go back to a client that we do a fountain maze, you know, a series of circles where you can change the maze. You know, every half hour the maze is a different maze. It's just, you know, that you enter into differently, which I think would be fun. You know, that could be, that would have to be orchestrated. But I don't think I've designed any one that really requires a computer. Uh, because I think that there's something, well, again, the, ma the maintenance. I like the idea that water falls. I like the idea of using water in terms of its hydraulic, uh, you know, characteristic, that it, it does things, it falls. Uh, I'm trying to think where we've used water, you know, that's the, it's like in Israel we used it, where they, it falls and people walk behind it. I'd love to use water, by the way, different ways. We used water in, in, uh, in lower Manhattan, and, you know, and the idea there, what was interesting, was that we found that when we just had the disk at the ground level, and just no, no act of it, it was like a mirror, it was beautiful. Water, <coughs> the canal was, was wonderful in, in Arizona, because one of the reasons we decided not to do anything except these little rooms was that when we walked along the canal at five o'clock and the hills were turning purple, which they do, you know, they were this purplish hue, that the magic of that sunset, the magic of the, of, in the water, the, green, the purple reflected in the water, and the, so the, there was no wind, so the passive mirror-like quality just had such an emotional impact on, on all of us. We said, leave it, what do we want to, instead of changing it, let's just express what it is. And that's we, and it turned out to be a, the right solution. I don't orchestrate water, I just pump it up and let it come down. And that's, you'll see in almost everything I've done. You saw it over here. Yeah. Pump it up, there's no computer because, once again, I think that in a public space, the, anything that requires even the least bit of maintenance can be, you know, uh, can be, uh, can fail, can, you know, can be ignored. And in this case here, we needed something to tell you something's happening. It's, it's, this is a marker. It's all it really is meant to be. It's, here's the space, that, you know, and you're invited in. So the, the sound, the, it's, but it's, in this particular case, it's less the sound, although the sound, I can hear it now. I would go back and say next time, we should have sound, but it's, it was more the fact that by the light on the water is something that is more intriguing to me. You know, the whiteness of the water, the color of the water is more intriguing. And the cobble or brick allows me to do that with no effort, okay? almost no effort. The shape says, I'm getting bored with one form, okay? I better look for some other forms. And that's, 